Welcome to a special Sunday edition of Jimmy Kimmel Live game night tonight from Orlando, Florida. Game six of the NBA Finals. The L.A. Lakers look to close out the nettlesome Miami Heat. The Heat are looking to even the series up after digging deep into the sound machine to beat the Lakers on Friday. They've been pesky and persistent like a, like a fly on the vice president's head, this team. <laughs> I guess maybe the players just can't get enough of living in a courtyard Marriott. I don't know. You know, some people thought the Heat didn't have a prayer in the series, but prayer may be on their side in the form of a convent full of basketball-playing nuns. Ask these hoop-shooting nuns at Archbishop Carroll High. As school starts, they say it's time to have faith. And now with our Heat in the playoffs, that's also added to a lot of joy and enthusiasm for our students. And so we're ready to go. Go Heat. Others will be lighting the candles of the Heat Holy Trinity, of the Butler, the Spo, and the Holy Hero. That's got to be sacrilegious, right? I mean, this. But they're kind of good, aren't they? Imagine we should play them, get our ass kicked yes. by a bunch of nuns. For sure. Let's do it. Boxed out by Sister Margaret Ann. It's interesting, you know, each city in the series has its own uh, rituals for winning. Uh, when the Heat win, Miami fans bang their pots. And here in L.A., when the Lakers win, we smoke ours. That's our... <laughs> overall, it has been an exciting series. It has been uh, as exciting a series in a bubble with no home games or fans can be. And we, they've made some history, too. Tonight marks the 260th postseason game for LeBron James, which is a new record, breaking that of fellow Laker Derek Fisher. LeBron also has the record for most consecutive playoff games, well ahead now of John Stockton, the Hall of Famer from the Utah Jazz, who still holds the record for most assists and shortest shorts. You could <laughs> almost see his MV penis there if you... But one of the events that I and many others look forward to every year is when we send Guillermo to media day. This is when all the reporters gather, gather to talk to all the players. Guillermo, you've been doing this for how many, how many years have you been like doing? Like 10 years. 10 years. He's usually the bell of the basketball, but this year, of course, we couldn't send Guillermo to media day because we love him too much. So to fill that hole, we, we put together Guillermo's best moments from media day over the years and chronicled his longtime hunt for the elusive LeBron. <laughs> I'm here for my exclusive interview with Wayne. Dwayne Wayne, how you doing? Dwayne Wayne. Dwayne Wayne. Yes, Wayne. Wayne? Wait. 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 Wayne? Wait. Wait. Yes. How do you spell it? W-E-D. W. That's what I say, Wayne. You say Wayne. Wayne? Yes. And what is Wait. Wait. W-A-D-E? Yes. Okay, wait. Sean, are you in it to win it? <laughs> yes. Hi, it's me, Guillermo. I'm here in Oklahoma for the NBA Finals. Mr. James Hutter, why, why the beard? Why not only mustache? What? Huh? What did you say? Why, why the beard? Why not only mustache? Must look, mustache is more sexy. Yeah. Are you excited for uh, for a threesome? For, for for what? For a threesome? Um, Three years in a row. Oh, oh, yeah, re, uh, three P. Three P. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. But I, I, I'd be excited for uh, either one. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hi. Hi. Is it fun to be Canadian? Uh, I'm not Canadian. No? No. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Fisher, I have an important question. What do you think about the movie Sex in the City 2? Well, I've never seen that. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you, you want to go see it? Look, it's about four girls. They go to the middle East, Samantha, Carrie, Charlotte, and Miranda. Awesome. And Carrie goes buy shoes over there. You know, shoes are real cheap. For $20, she bought it, like, maybe like 20 pairs of shoes. No kidding. But and then Miranda what, and what Samantha. They, what do huh? they do? Huh? What when they, they go do? dancing, they're drinking. Yeah. And when they, you know, when you're drinking, anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody <laughs> goes a little wild. Really? I cried when Carrie kissed her ex-boyfriend. Oh, OK. Yeah, that was great. And I felt bad for Mr. Big. Good luck, Mr. Kevin Garnett. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think this is dope. Right. We're done. <laughs> One, two, three. Let, Let it go. go. Let it go. Can I uh, fat boo your face? You what? Fat boo your face? Look, 
It'll make you look fat. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I wasn't getting any, I wasn't getting any girls if I looked like that. <laughs> you look like Charles Barkley. <laughs> oh no. Kobe, 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 Kobe. Hey, how you doing? Kobe, Kobe. How are you, Kobe? I'm doing good. How you doing? Good. Do you like basketball? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I enjoy it. Me too. Yeah? yeah. Do you play? Yes. Yeah, you do? Yeah, I do. What yeah. position do you play? You play center? No, guard. You play guard? Yes. That's surprising. I think a man of your size would play center. Well, I play only with Mexican guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, for good luck. So you can win the championship. I'm going to give you high five Mexican. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Kobe Bryant. Right. Good luck. Thank you very much, man. How much hair products do you put in every morning? Oh, a lot. <laughs> you want to you wanna palm my hair? Look. Yeah, pa I, well, I'm going to use a tap. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I, I wasn't going to go anywhere. How are you? Everything good? Hey, wh what is your favorite body part? Huh? No? Are you not feeling me? Hey, have you seen LeBron? Yeah, I did. We just practiced together. Hey, is he in a good mood? Uh, yeah, he seems pretty cool today. Yeah, wh what should I ask him? I'm trying to, so he can open up to me. What should I oh, ask him? Oh, he doesn't him? like you, huh? He doesn't like me. That's on you, bro. I don't know, man. You got to figure that one out yourself. Figure that one out yourself. Figure that one out yourself. Every year, I try to talk to LeBron. He never talked to me. LeBron! LeBron! How are you? LeBron! LeBron! Can you take a selfie with me? LeBron! 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 LeBron. Oh, man, leave me the hell alone, man. Hey, JR, ask LeBron to talk to me. JR. Hey. hey. LeBron, are we okay? Now it's time for my exclusive with LeBron James. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I get to sit up here and talk about what's really important. So thank you. Mr. LeBron, can you describe uh, your perfect salad? My perfect salad? <laughs> yes. I need protein. I need a vegetable. I Ch need a fruit. Ch Chinese chicken salad? That's cool, too. I'll yeah. take that, too. With avocado? I'll take, take that as well. Wow. I did it. Finally, I talked to LeBron James. Yeah. Hey, guys. I finally talked to LeBron James! Back to you, Jimmy! Well, thank you. The moral to the story is never give up on your dreams. Never. Thank you, my that was little fantastic. NBA bubble. <laughs> The NBA has fans all over the world. Basketball, you know, is especially popular in China, where here in the United States, a lot of players have nicknames, but the Chinese fans have nicknames for our players, too, that have no relation to our nicknames. These are real Chinese nicknames. We didn't make these up for NBA players, and uh, we made some old-school-style posters to go along with the nickname. So let's start with James Harden of the Houston Rockets, who in China is known as Big Beard, <laughs> <laughs> for obvious reasons. The Golden State Warriors are very popular in China. There, Steph Curry, the Warrior star, is called the elementary school student, <laughs> because he's 12, and his teammate, Clay Thompson, is Soup God. <laughs> Why, I do not know, but that's what he is. Here in the United States, Shaquille O'Neal has a lot of nicknames, most self-inflicted, but in China, he has two nicknames. They call him the Giant Shark because, <laughs> A, he's giant, and, B, the Chinese word for shark sounds like Shaq, and he's also known in China as O-Fat. <laughs> they probably don't call him that in person, but that's what they call him. Here's another one that isn't very nice. Charles Barkley is known as the Flying Pig in China. Dwight Howard is the evil baby, and Pau Gasol is known as sister-in-law. <laughs> that does uh, you think he'd at least get, like, Kung Pau Gasol, right? So anyway, see, it's not just all silly here. We learn, too. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button, and if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.